Hello guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'll show you step by step how you can easily use Gantt view in ClickUp. Gantt view is a really simple tool that you can use and it's effective. So the first thing you want to do is go on the top and click plus view. And here you want to search for Gantt. Click on it. And then you have option to choose it as a pre private view or pin view. So I'm going to have it as a normal one and I will just click here add view. Here we, ha here we are, here we have the Gantt. Now what we can actually find it and how it actually works. So on the left side, we would find all the items, the tasks or uh, like leads, whatever you call them. Here, you can easily collapse it. You're gonna see this name and the list here. Always, you can simply click on a task and edit it. Then you have also option to uh, show columns. So you can even add columns to your Gantt. Now we got also option to, let's say you're gonna move here and if you're gonna press today, it will automatically link you right for today. So you get also the time scale here and you get option to have zoom to fit or if you're gonna have day and hour and if I would click today, here we see it. Now I can go month and a day, week and a day, and you're always going to see it's changing, right? Year and a month and year. So let's say uh, we want to have it week and a day. Now what you can do here, you have option to change the length. So you're going to have yoga for beginners and you can change it. You're going to have the YouTube of a fellow YouTubers and I can make it shorter. So I'm going to like refresh it. And as you can see what we made, uh, like we increase the length, you can see it right here. We decrease the length, we can see it right here. Always you can like move here you see the green line is the whole list here, right? So it's a whole, uh, like the whole list that we created. Now, if you would be in space and you would have like different list, uh, you can also find it here. Now, the further you go, you can also filter it. You can sort it by, uh, you can only show task assigned to me and you can filter task by assignee. So if I'm going to have it by me, I see only these two because they are assigned to me. So uh, this is how pretty much the GAND works and how you can use it. Now, of course, you can simply go on the bottom right and click task. And here, let's say our task name is going to be YouTube video about marketing in a YouTube channel. Yes, I can add uh, like also the due date here and set date, set priority. So if I'm going to add a date here, start date, let's say go like this, close. And you can simply edit the task here. So even if you're in a Gantt, you can optimize it and you can add tasks. Uh, I can set the priority. You can edit the task for myself, I can simply also add a subtasks and change and edit uh, the column fields that I have here. So I can change the status that I added. Cost of producing the video. Where is recording? Label. YouTube link. So you can have all this, right? And I can combine it with a task. Now when I have it, I can, what I can do, I can simply create a task. Tomorrow, edit task, template, dependencies. Voila, here we have it. Now in the moment when we edit, we can see, we have it right here. You got always option guys to go to task or I can simply click on this task. So you have option to set watchers. 
set assignees, set status, So like this, you can create, convert to subtask, you can move tasks or add subtask in multiple lists, duplicate tasks, remove tasks from list, you can set priority, you can even set the milestone for it. You can add dependencies. Merge tasks and also the task linking here, set custom fields and arch archive tasks. So you can do all this here by clicking here. And that's pretty much it. So if you're going to have any questions regards GAN and what you can do here, let me down below in the comments. This is just like pretty simple tutorial what you can do here. And how you can uh, work here. So that's pretty much it. And you can like do this in all items. We've got dependencies, tasks, Okay, and this is how you can also add dependencies right here. So this is how you can use it. Again, tutorial, pretty straightforward and pretty easy. You know how it goes, you know how it works. So thank you very much guys for watching and have a great day and goodbye. Gantt tutorial for ClickUp, ClickUp Gantt tutorial. Gant, how to use Gant for ClickUp. See ya.